Okay, so we're done with our uh, demonstrating the, the game features. <clears throat> Let's move along to uh, the stats tab. And this looks very similar to the um, the way it looked in the prior version. The only addition here is um, there used to be these two reports, player stats and player times, but all it gave you access to was the cumulative total for the season. In this um, system now, you can access the total season, so that'll give you all those totals, but also it'll give you access to any games that are that have been finished. Okay, so you can look at stats, uh, player stats for individual games. So that's the same for both player stats and player times. So just if we go into a particular game, you know, those are the, those are the times for that game. And again, just like any of the other reports, I can either email this or print it to uh, a capable printer. Okay, player log uh, remains pretty much the same. Just drill down and you can actually pick a player that you want to uh, report details on. I think uh, if we pick Kate, where she is, I don't know, I can't see her. So again, this shows you um, for the season by game, you know, th things that you've uh, recorded about uh, Kate. Okay, so let's move on to settings. Uh, this is, so alert used to be there, that's how far ahead of the end of the segment uh, you get notified. Auto stop clock, that's that feature that uh, stops the clock and sort of moves you into the next segment automatically. Um, that can be turned off and you're then back to the old, old behavior. Um, the rest of these things are pretty much the same. The thing that I um, really wanted to show you in settings is this ability to customize user fields. Okay, so let's go in here, and right now I've done no customization. So um, one of the things I showed you earlier was um, the ability to set up opposing teams, and the only thing that you can record there uh, by default is the team name and the color. So you know what, maybe um, I want to um, record some more information about opposing teams. So. Just as an example, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to add a field to um, opposing teams, and I, I want to keep track of uh, the coach of the other team. So just his name. Um, and this is going to be a text field, and private means that um, there are certain of these fields that will appear on reports, and if you make it private, you see them on the screen, but they don't get they don't get uh, output to it, to the reports. Okay, so. Um, the first field is going to be uh, the coach, and the next field, yeah, I'm going to keep track of his uh, email address. Okay, and this is not a text field, this is ooh, an email. Okay, so there are various field types that you can set up here, and then SoccerDad will be smart about the way that it uh, presents that, that data. Okay. Alright, so there are, just to go through the list here, it's not every single uh, object in the system, but it's a lot of the important ones. Um, so team, uh, first of all, so you can put additional fields on, on the team screen. Opposing uh, team, we just saw. Um, lineup, if you want to capture notes or, or anything additional um, in the lineup details, you, you, you can do that. Um, for players, um, so I've had requests for, um, I think this from, was from Germany, for a, a license number to be associated with the player. Well, um, that's not something that's in the base uh, soccer dab, but now um, you as a coach can, can actually add that. And then the last five here are all the different types of, of event. So if you want to capture something um, additional for games, um, you, can, you can add those things here um, or uh, for practices or, or anything else. So let's just see how this works. The the bars over here just allow you to reorder things. Okay, so you know if I wanted email to show up first I'd drag it up and, and drop it. Okay, so once I'm done with this <coughs> I'm gonna go back uh, to my team screen and you know here were the opposing teams that I that I'd set up before. 
So now orange, uh, here are the fields that the system provides and lo and behold here are the uh, fields that um, uh, you as a coach have defined. Okay, so now when I'm editing um, editing opposing team information um, so that's the name of the coach and uh, that's the email address okay so the neat thing about that is um, because we said it was an email address, um, SoccerDAD can be a little bit smart. So if I um, actually click on that field, it can open up uh, an email uh, ready to send to the to the, the other coach. Okay, and the nice thing, yeah, you know, I'm now at iOS 4.2, so uh, if I can operate this, um, I can get back to my app. Um, I haven't it hasn't stopped running okay so that's um, new um, customization user uh, specified fields and they show up in a similar way in all the screens yeah there's a little top section and then your section of fields integrate right in uh, just as just as if they were built into the system from the start so that's really the uh, set of new features. There are a few little things along the way um, that I haven't demonstrated, but um, you know, if you have any questions, please uh, contact me through my support page. Uh, there will always be more information um, available on, on the website, uh, so please check it out um, often. Okay, thank you very much.